Creating vSphere 6.x cluster. Okay. So, what's the situation so far? Three ESXi hosts. Shared storage is visible from all three of them. However, we cannot do vMotion or DRS. You know, HA. FD because there is no cluster. Right now each ESXi host is working as individual host and once we define cluster it becomes like you know an aggregate of resources, a combination of resources of, of those hosts which are participating in for example, we have ESXi 1, 12 gigs of RAM, ESXi 2, 12 gigs of RAM, ESXi 3, 12 gigs of RAM. Once we had we a cluster, so overall there will be like 36 gigs of RAM available to provision our services. And of course, they will, they will act as part of a unit. means we can do vMotion, we can do... VMotion is like a live migration of Hyper-V. Uh, we can do higher HA, high availability, and it can also automatically balance resources when there is resource contention. We enable DRS. And fault tolerance will protect the system. Oh, many things, many benefits of clusters. Okay, how to define cluster? Very simple. We go to data center, right, and it is create a cluster. Right click is totally functional, so it's a new cluster. And what's the cluster name you would like to give to this one? Uh, I would say cluster one. That's okay. That's all right. Cluster one, fine. I'm not enabling DRS at the moment or HA at the moment because we will deal with them in their separate videos. Uh, EVC, uh, right now I'm not enabling any EVC mode. Uh, all my hosts are new and um, no chance for upgrade at the moment. EVC basically we would like to set up a baseline or common grounds between uh, your ESXi host. Let's say I had I7 Gen 1 servers and in my ESXi host and now I have I7 Gen 3 or Gen 4. So of course it supports more CPU instructions or more better instruction set than i7 Gen 1. So what you do if I want to replace my ESXi host or I want to run newer version of CPU or those hosts which has newer version of CPU in my old cluster, I need to set my EVC mode to a baseline which is supported by old ones and the new ones so that they all go get along well. Um, in my case, I have, I, I don't want to, 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 to enable it. Uh, virtual SAN, again, I'm not enabling it. I will enable it when when we will do or I will do virtual send video. So this is what I want to just specify the name, I'm not enabling anything. Okay. And cluster one is there. Cluster is there, but right now there is no host in it. Right? So how to add a host to the cluster? Well how about if I take the SXI one and just drag in it. And here it is. Now the cluster one has ESXi1. Same thing I'll do for ESXi2. And ESXi2. 
this xi3. OK, baby. That's your turn. And that's it. Now, my cluster have three hosts. E6i1, E6i2, E6i3. They are part of the cluster. So this is how you create cluster in ESXi and you can add host. And of course, this step could have been done earlier, even before creating shared storage. You know, create a cluster, add host. Won't be able to use a few great features of cluster, but you can do that. And later on, you can also do that, which is like just drag them into the cluster and that's it so if i go now to cluster you'll see a summary see it's an aggregate or sum of a memory available for all from all hosts which are participating here if i go to individual host and summary you will see it's out of 12 gig, right? But if I go to cluster one, it is showing the resources, which is a summation or sum of all hosts which are participating. In. I have three hosts, 12 gigs, 12 by 336, and that's what it's showing, 36 gigs of memory. Same for CPU, it's automatically calculated the CPU cycle. So, so this is it. Uh, that's how you do cluster and you add cluster uh, ESXi hosts to cluster. See you in another video.